So really... I mean, is it really that hard to give me a digital manual on here? You're that lazy? I have to like go on the internet and with my phone and like scan it to read it. No, I want it right here, man. Complaint, 9.8 out of 10 IGN. You know what? 9.8 out of 10 IGN. It's 6.59 is close enough. I'm going to start this. Hello, I'm Fresh Primbottom, and this is the SNES Classic, which I finally found Okay, I'm not on mute. Which I finally found at a Walmart today. So we're gonna play some Final Fantasy 3. Or I'm pretty sure it's really 6 in Japan. And you know, every subsequent date after the SNES one. Or this might be old school 3 and they just finally translated it and gave us the original Super NES version. But first I'm gonna make sure. Okay. I'm on Pixel Perfect and I got the goofy stereo from the 90s. So we are good to go. Just waiting on seven o'clock. English legal notice. Legal notice says that when I switch this over to YouTube and then watch it on YouTube, I'm gonna get so many copyright claims on this little do 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 going on because Nintendo owns it and they own everything. And Nintendo of Japan has super bots. The second I upload this, boom. You're gonna see ads on my thingy, even though I can't monetize it anymore. I can't put my own little ads on it. Nintendo will put their ads on it and be like, hey, hey you, you're gonna watch this ad, so we're gonna get money for this song you're listening to. Anyways, it's seven o'clock. It's time to start rolling and complain about Nintendo and YouTube and all that, because we're on Twitch now. We're streaming live, baby. Are we? We're good, we're green, we're streaming live. Baby? Okay. <clears throat> it's Fun Friday. I got my Fun Friday soda. And, oh, oh, sleeping, sleeping. Okay. Final Fantasy 3. Here we go. I love that. Oh, I love that. I love that. It's... I wish it didn't say Nintendo on it. I don't say anything wrong with Nintendo, but. And the music. Oh, and this is so brilliant. Yay. I'm happy. I'm nerding out a little. I'm sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> Evil. I should play this for spooky Saturdays. Such a dark and menacing tone for the 90s. Well, I guess in the mid-90s, you know, this is when, like, Castlevania was really big and Metroid, and the Metroidvanias were big and all that, too. That makes sense. Anyways, I just want to listen to this for just a minute. Let's nerd out on that just a tad. So, I mean, just watch this. You don't get pixel art like this anymore. And yeah, I know. Indie games and all that, but this is the OG pixel art. This is the good stuff right here. This is the... Uh, 94, how old was I? Seven? Eight? Somewhere in between six and eight? So elementary school? This was the coolest thing. This was like the big boy games right here. Final Fantasy, super complex, super cool looking. I think when I hit new game, I'm going to get this video anyways. So, how do I... Oh no. Is it just starting a new game? Thousand years have passed. I'm gonna, well, actually just I'm going to make sure real quick. I'm just going to hit start and go. So make sure like that's not some unskippable cutscene. I want to hit new game. Let me let me hit new game. Okay, so this is okay. Oh, I can't skip this. Oh, jeez. Okay. Long ago, the War of the Magi reduced the world to a scorched wasteland, and magic simply ceased to exist. That's gonna make my taskbar a little empty, a little barren. A thousand years have passed. Iron, gunpowder, and steam engines have been rediscovered, and high technology reigns. So basically the world we're in now, only more steampunky. Steampunky land, yeah. 
But there was some who would enslave the world by reviving the dreaded destruction force known as magic. Camera's doing the robot army here. Can it be that those in power are on the verge of repeating a senseless and deadly mistake? Question mark? Am I too loud on the mic? She's yelling me if I am in the comments. Too loud, Professor? Oh, yeah, this is six. Whatever. The game's called 3 on Super NES, so I'm going to call it 3 in here. People will figure it out. Well, those are shouting me in the comments going, Well, technically, in Japan, this is known as 6, so you're wrong. And I know it's 6 in Japan, but on the American Super NES Classic, back in the NES days, this was 3. This was my 3 as a child. And I totally missed what Wedge said right there. Think it's still alive? Probably. Judging from the urgency of our orders... And this woman, this sorcerer, why is she here? I heard she fried 50 of our Magitek armored soldiers in under three minutes. Not to worry, the slave crown on her head robs her of all conscious thought. She'll follow orders. We'll approach from the east. Move out. Move out! More exclamation pointing. Move out! Look at them graphics. If I saw that. <laughs> Opening credits. Oh, that music. Oh, oh, take me back. Simpler times. Only 90s kids remember yo-yos and gushies. Actually, probably not yo-yos. Yo-yos were a thing. Uh, uh, what's another 90s thing that everyone knows that only 90s kids know? Dunkaroos? Oh yeah, if you've been on Facebook long enough, I mean, you know what Dunkaroos are. But that that's basically what this was. It was, like, you know, this Sunny D and pizza rolls and this. With, like, you know, my, 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 my BFFs. Back before you call them BFFs. Usually just, like, you know, a close fish family member or, like, uh, parents, friends, kids or something. And we're like, do you guys want to play Final Fantasy? And like, watch, and then you take turns passing it off. And, uh. It's good times. It's good, happy times. And I need happiness right now. So thank you for sharing this happiness with me. Zero viewers. I appreciate you. One day. I'm going to be a big famous guy and someone's going to stumble upon these videos and be like, man, the professor had zero viewers? Well, I mean, look at these videos. Yeah, of course he did. Yeah, it's garbage. I mean, probably I'm technically dead, yeah, so maybe. Let me change gears a little here and see if I can, I can totally skip this. Okay. Thank you for letting me skip the credits. Let's put her on point. No sense walk, no sense taking any risks. Forward! The Esper's gotta be in here. Move out! Okay, so I can't go into that little village thing. There we go. Question mark. Oh, that's some beautiful art right there. Okay. No items. No, no espers. Oh, I have magic. Oh, that's right. I said magic's a newish thing. Cure and fire. Okay. And then whatever. I'm guessing Vix and Wedge aren't going to be too important past this scene. Machine riding self-important swine. Take this. Doggy, 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 dog, dog. Gonna fight the dog. Now, is it active time battle or is it turn based? I'm gonna hang out a minute. And I'm guessing. It's, oh no! 
It is active time, okay. Uh, yeah. Fire beam. Fire beam it. Ooh. A lot of stuff there. Okay, yeah. Super dead dog. Super dead dog. Twelve experience points. Thirty golds. Alright. Good times. Good times, good times, good times. Oh, what happened? Can I go in the end or can I not in my giant suit of evil? Oh, this was the right way to go all along. Or not. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in a corner. What if I go over here? Imperial Magic Armor? Not even the Narshi's safe anymore. Narshi? Narshi blows! I, I've got better than that. Anyways, let's just firebeam these dudes. Yep, a firebeam will do just fine. So I'm guessing I'm gonna find out really quick that these guys are bad guys. Also, I've never played this one before. That's not true. I played an emulator of it back in my evil pirate days for like a minute. I didn't get past this part though where you're riding on the magic tech armor. I wasn't feeling it at the time. I'm like, eh. But now I'm going to give it a shot. I'll play this for a few hours and see what happens. Alright. And I don't bother teaching me the finer points of the game in the beginning. I guess I don't need it. I just need to know that fire beam kills dogs. Lobos. Well, I'm gonna call them dogs. Because their un battle engine art looks like little tiny puppets. And that's something Final Fantasy started. The battle sequences always look a little bit better than the overworld does. And then, of course, you know, when 7 came out, there was those cutscenes, which were mm, amazing. But this isn't gonna have that, I don't think. It might have, like, cutscenes, but they're not gonna be. They're going to look like this, basically. I think. Is this experience I'm getting hold up at all? Or is it going to mean absolutely nothing? We've got them trapped now! I think this is all just prologue. And I'm just going to try to get through it as fast as I can. You see? Is the mic on? Is my camera working? Yeah, camera's working. That looks fine. Oh, they're on both sides. They're on all sides of us. What are we going to do? We're going to set them on fire is what we're going to do. Is there a go faster button? No, there is this button. Level 4. Wow, I'm leveling up quick. Steps 95. That's the... It's a little anal. Is there a, a trophy achievement in there somewhere? Take 1.2 million steps. We must defend the mines. It's a pig man? Oh, it's a... It was a mammoth, apparently. Very humanoid-looking mammoth before it got into the battlefield here. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I'm still doing fine on health. And everything's still a one-hit kill. I'm guessing after this scene, I'm going to lose this armor. And battles are going to be a little bit more difficult than level one-ish. This is one of those deals for throwing me in the middle of the game, so to speak, even though I'm starting out as level one. I, I don't know. I'm just making guesses. Keeping the chat alive. Maybe I should change the game to Final Fantasy VI. Maybe that's why people keep coming in and dropping out. According to our source, the Frozen Esper was found in a new mineshaft. Maybe this one. A Frozen Esper? As in Shiva? Or as in another Esper? who's been frozen because it's an icy place and I guess even espers can get frozen. Is that a save point? 
An eerie glow surrounds you. Want info about save points? No. I guess I, info about save points is saving, so yes I do. That's an evil looking rat thing. Where rat? Well that's why he's evil looking, he's all... Where? Yay, we killed the wire rat. Okay. Now I gotta get the save point working again. Oh, okay. It's like Final Fantasy VIII. The first Final Fantasy I ever played. Okay. So, yeah, that's forward. No. Okay. This is forward. Save. Okay. Alright, that is saved. Okay. Cool. And that's how saves work. I figured it out because I'm a smart smarty pants. Go me. What's going on here? I'll handle this. Stand back. Ram! That's one way to do that. Oh, hello. We won't hand over the Esper. Welk, get them! Boss music. Oh yeah, this is definitely six. Hold it! Think back to our briefing! What about it? Do you recall hearing about a monster that eats lightning? And stores the energy in its shell? Right, so whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Alright, ready? attack the shell. Also, why would I attack it with lightning? It's really dead! Cause he's gonna be dead real soon. Yeah, this is... This is six. This is six. I know this music. Is he dead? Well, if I can't, I have no items. That's equipment. I don't have life. I do have cure. I can cure myself. count as magic? Yes, it does. Okay. Grew. So it looks like I'm going to have to start this battle over. Come on, pop your head back out. So I thought he was definitely dead, but I guess he just puts his head away? Cure myself again. Grew. Okay. Now he's back. And now I can attack him again. Stop giving me owies. Again. Oh, good. You better miss. 
through. Well, this is confusing enough to start. I don't... Heal force. Will that bring them back to life? I should have studied all this beforehand. Nope. That was a waste. Also, I don't have my MP right here. Okay. Your head's back. Good. I guess heal force is just another cure. Yep. Now the question, am I, am I supposed to be attacking the shell some way that it doesn't retaliate on me? Or am I just supposed to keep whacking at this dude until he finally croaks? Be a lot easier if these two dudes weren't dead. Yeah, I think he's just hiding in the shell and he's not dead at all. Let's grow. Oh, is that like back row? I don't know what that means. Can you die now? You dead? I don't get this boss, man. I don't get it. I'm gonna have to look up the first boss. It's not a good sign. And if I just use straight up fire on him. Nope, it's just gonna mega vault me again. Okay, good. Now I can start over. Or was I supposed to die? I don't think I was supposed to die. Nope, definitely wasn't supposed to die there. Okay. Let's uh Let's go ahead and Status, maybe? Okay. I feel like I'm missing something here. Maybe it's just a long drawn out fight. Stand back. Yep, that's from Final Fantasy. I James walked through. I looked up three, and it wants me to look up six. Oh, God, 
These old ones get so confusing. I mean, they're not, but you know what I mean. It stores energy in a shell. So, whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Ready. So, three fire beams. higher than that. Oh, it is much higher than that. Okay. So now a mess up won't kill you. Now he's back. Okay. Yep. And now I'm doing three times the damage, which is good, which is good. HP is 77? Come on. Waiting for you, buddy. Maybe I should try other elements on him. Is he waiting for me to attack? Nope, he's coming back. Okay. He's just very slow moving. Three fire beams. This will go much faster. Much, much faster, faster. Yay! Much fast, very well. Heal force. And her. Guru. Guru. More grooves than a uh, uh, despicable me convention. Yeah, I'm smart. So now we just gotta wait out, hang out, and wait for him to go Groo again. I am Groo. I'm gonna call him Groo. What's his name? Groo. I don't, I forget what his name is. I'm just gonna call him Groo. Oh, Welk. His name is Welk. Or he is a Welk. Hey, he's finally dead. So I did do it right. Cool. First boss, Benito. El Finishdo. And I got a potion. Hooray, potion. All right, let's go. Random encounter battle right after the boss. That's not nice. These guys don't have any freaky kill you dead tricks, do they? Do ya? tight corridor right there. Oh, that's because that's a bridge. Guys, pixel arts, ups and downs. I don't know what Esper that is. This is the frozen Esper. Tritok. Hey, what's the matter? Do you know something we don't? Ominous. The frozen creature began emitting an eerie light. Okay, while I'm here, I'm going to change this from Final Fantasy 3 to Final Fantasy 6. So people don't get as mad at me. 
There we go. Where's that light coming from? From... Whoa! Hey! Wedge! Where are you? What? What's happening? Dot. 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 I don't sock much, do I? Oh, poop. I'm exploding. He isn't exploding. I'm exploding. I exploded. I woke up in the bed. Is this after? Is this before? I guess I'll find out. Oh. See, that's genius right there. The way the eyes are designed. It makes it look like your eyes are closed behind the covers there. That's boring. They don't... Oh, that's, that's just beautiful design. I miss stuff like that. Where am I? Whoa! And I only just removed the crown. Head hurts. Poop. Easy. This is a slave crown. The others had complete control over you while you were wearing it. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry. It'll all come back to you. In time, that is. Classic amnesia story. Thank you, Final Fantasy. I love old school gaming. A mysterious young woman controlled by the Empire and born with the gift of magic. Tara. That's a good name. I'm going to go with the standard names. So when I get really into this game and talk about it with other people, they'll know what I'm talking about. So they'll be like, yeah. And then uh, Balma went over with, with Butt Clown here. And what? Come on. Come on, seriously. You can't tell me. Like the... The actual art of her face doesn't look like Bulma, but that looks like Bulma. My name is Terra. Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering this fast. Oh, it's the same town. And the evil puppies. The weird guard things. Open up! Give us back to girl and Empire's magic and the Empire's magic tech armor. Uh, no girl here. We're fine. Everything's fine. Open this door. We want that girl. She's an officer of the Empire. Empire? Magitech armor? Look, I have to get you out of here. I don't have time to explain. There's no time to explain. That's a great game, too. Over here. But I want... Okay. Is there a dash button? Ha! Ah, there's an elixir in that clock for some reason. There is no dash button yet. Usually it's back. Oh well. I'll be patient. Make your way out through the mines. I'll keep these brutes occupied. Okay, good thing I got cure magic. Oh, I'm up high. Okay. She's up there! Oh, poop. Oh, poop, oh, poop, oh, poop. Make my way through the mines. Make my way downtown through the mines. Other stuff and I'm homebound. Deedly deedly do. Is there stuff over here? Maybe, maybe. Oh, I did keep my level. If I knew that, I would have gra grinded? Ground? Grinded. Grinded a bit more. Repo Man. And Vaporite. Is that like the evil repo men from that movie? Where they come, I'm taking your organs for monies. Poof. Do, 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 do. I got Terra some stuff, hooray. And beautiful. Yes. All right. Cool beans. And there's a treasure chest. My first treasure chest. Happy times. Oh, I remember you, wear rats. I remember you when I had my big fancy armor. Now all I got is the sword thingy. That might change in a second, although I doubt it. 
Received Phoenix Down. Oh, they spell it different in this one too. They went old school. Let me look at that real quick. Look at that. Look at that. Phoenix Down with an F. It's amazing. It's good stuff. They changed nothing, including the bad translations. making me happy. And I like feeling happy. Go figure. Slice and dice. I was supposed to say how do I get to you, but you're on the same level. Sleeping bag. Is that like a tent? Recovers HP and MP to 100% when I'm at a saving point, I bet. Yeah, uh, first, I personally first encountered those in Final Fantasy VIII, and they were called tents. And you could only use them out in the open world. I'm guessing a sleeping bag you can use anywhere that's a save point, and I need to cure myself after this battle. Because he's not going to kill me, I don't think. You going to kill me, buddy? No, you're not. Hooray, I did it. Level up? No level up. Okay. I'm not going to waste my potion yet. I am going to use my cure magic on me. Yeah. Beautiful. Hidden items? No hidden items. Just a dead end. Okay. Got it. Got her. Well, I mean, if you gave me a dash button. See, look, she's dashing right now. That's all I want is a dash button. It's not select, is it? That would be annoying. It goes all the way over there. Oh, I was about to say, why are you sitting there looking sad? It's because she was weakened, about to pass out. Oh, oh, there's Kefka. My sweet little magic user. Ooh, wee. I can't do it. He he. With this slave crown, I'll practically own you. Creepy. Yeah, that's Kefka. Eyes got brighter. Firebeam. <laughs> Good. Burn up everything. I don't know what voice canonically Kefka has, but I'm just going to give him my standard bad guy medicine voice. Gestal. We stand on the brink of a major breakthrough. In the days to come, we'll witness the total revival of magic. It is our destiny and ours alone to take this mystic force and claim what is rightfully ours. With our newfound power, nothing can stand in our way. Long live Emperor Gestal. Oh, that's that's FSU. All right, just do it over here so I'm not blocking the camera. God, I hope that's not the thumbnail. That could be bad. Hey, uh, she got captured. Took you long enough. How goes the robbing and plundering trade? Treasure hunter and trail-worn traveler searching the world over the relics of the past. Locke. Loki? No, definitely Locke. 
Locke. Locke. I'm gonna call him Locke. I prefer the term treasure hunting. Heh. <laughs> Semantics. Nonsense. There's a huge difference. Anyways, were you the one who sent for me? Yeah, there's a girl I'd like you to meet. <laughs> okay. This better not have anything to do with that Magitek writing Imperial witch. Imperial troops are pursuing her even as we speak. This town is no match for the Empire. Our independence can only be assured if we join forces with the Returners, an underground resistance movement. That girl wasn't responsible for her actions. We must get her to understand our dilemma. Alright, I think we better help her. Agreed. Make your way first to Figaro and talk to the king. Figaro, huh? Thanks, I'll just sit here being unconscious. Whatever. I'll just leave you there. Now we gotcha. Voice acting is making me all hiccupy. Blah, blah. Voice acting. <laughs> Actual voice actors hate me. Wonderful. There's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Kupo. Oh, wait. I have my special Kupo voices for Moogles. All Moogles have a ridiculously deep voice because it's funny. Moogles, are you saying you want to help me? Kupo. Use us to save Terra from the guards. Need more information? Why, well, yes, yes I do. You'll fight using three different groups. Press the Y button to switch between them. Okay. Your job is to defeat the commander of the guards before his men reach Terra. Save her, or else. Probably a game over screen. I don't understand what's going on here. Okay, so yeah, I'm just blocking them. Cool, it's like a little mini game. I see why people like this one so much now. Plus you. Plus four party members. That that's a good sign, right? Yeah. Things in a lot of dabblage. Quoting Markiplier here. It's a dabblage. I think that's got it pretty much covered. Uh, fight, fight, fight. Okay. All of them are just fighting. Okay, it's three different groups. Each one has a different ability set. Okay, so if a specific group gets super dead, I'm gonna have to intercept. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, y'all got different weapons. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like this a lot. Okay. Oh, here's Mog's group. I like you, Mog. E. Okay. Is this going to be a common occurrence thing, or is this like a one-off for funsies? Ha! Intercept you. Oh, locks like relatively super deadish. Ooh, steel. Yes, please. Can you steal anything when the thing's at full health? Oh god, that's a lot of damage. Tonic one. Luckily. <laughs> the Lobos don't have much health. I 
think that's the last dude. That was easy enough. Cool. That was fun, though. It's a nice little detour. I like to imagine back in 94 when this was brand new, like how revolutionary that was and how great it must have been. Admittedly, I talked about the feeling of nostalgia and all that, but my first Final Fantasy game was 8 <laughs> on PC. You know, what am I doing? Hey, dude. Last time? Oh! I know. Fight? Okay. I know. Phoenix thing. Use on the dead one. I know. Potion! Use! Damn it! Fine, fine. Fight, 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 kill, kill fast. Lock, don't die. Mm -hmm. Lock might die. If Lock dies, am I screwed? You have no magic. Okay, Mog. It's your turn. Your turn to beat up boss man. We won't waste time with potions or anything. Lobos are gone. Good. Now we just focus on boss man. We got this. We got this. We can do this. Mong's HP gets a little too low. We can use the potion. Just gotta get it done quick. Gotta be faster than him. Also, sorry main character with the name guy that we killed you. Okay. That wasn't bad. Does that mean my health is back? Does that mean she's awake? Scene's over? Alright, scene's over. We did something productive. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks, Moogles. Oh, wait. Lock. Thanks, Moogles. We're in your debt. I'm thinking Keanu Reeves, like, somewhere in between, uh, Speed and, uh, uh, what was that? Uh, Bill and Ted. Just like, excellent, you know? but a little more mature, like excellent. I think the Switchel, the Switchel, the Nintendo Switchel. The Switchel wake her up. Huh? You're back with us now? You, you saved me. Save your thanks for the Moogles. Ugh, I can't remember anything past or present. You have amnesia? A man said my memory would come back. Give it time. You're safe with me. I'll give you my word. Question mark? I won't leave you until your memory returns. By the way, this secret entrance might be useful someday. Don't forget about it. Blink, 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 blink. Blink, blink. Awkward staring. Is this health still at one? This doesn't matter, we're in a cutscene. Oh no, his health's back. Okay. I can't save here. Hello! This is a classroom for the beginner. Here we answer your questions about the world. Think of us as your advisors. No, thanks. I want like a save point and or weapon shop. Huh? Who might you be? 
This is the pits. We better hightail it southward to Figaro. Okay, so I can't go into the village. That's what they're telling me. Noted. Heading south. Here, I can save. Oh, that's much nicer. Fight, what am I fighting? Leafer! Hello, Leafer. Goodbye, Leafer. Aww, cute. Little leafy guy. Whack. I'm guessing. The city I need to is going to be that first dot south on the mini map here. So over here ish? Or maybe just the straight shot south this way. Yeah, okay. It's railroading me over here. Gotcha. Scorpion Sand Ray and Aranid. Okay. Evil desert things chipping away at my health little by little. Wow. Finally. Took you long enough to die. Steal. Couldn't steal. Magic. Fire. I'm gonna set you on fire now. Oh, that did much more damage. Okay. And now there's only this little guy to worry about. Good thing, too, because they're really chipping away at my health. Oi. We almost at that city? Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Stop chipping away at my health, jerks! Holy. That really hurts, you know? It's going to be a non stop cure -thon for her. Mm. Especially if you keep doing that. Oh my god. Okay. We're safe for a minute. We're good. We're okay. We're decent. Good, die. Only one of them. Shipped away my health ten at a time. Now, die in a fire. Is this the town? Okay, this is the castle. Wait. Hey. Oh, it's you. Proceed. Cool. That's cool. It's whatevs. It's neat. I thought you were someone else, but it's you, so you know you're, you're a cool guy. Is there a town here, or is it just a castle? Go see the king. What about you? Go see the king. Okay. I guess I'll go see the king. Yep. Railroaded me. What about you? You got anything... It doesn't look like it, but this castle incorporates some of the most high-tech devices in existence. For example, oops, they're all top secret. I know what that's like. It's a little loud. I'm going to turn you down a tad. There we go. So I stopped screaming over the mic. All right. Don't talk. Go see the king. And you. Any words of advice? Go see the king. Okay. Are you the king? You mean this young woman? Who do you think you are? Oh, sorry. I'm just the king of everything. How rude of me to turn my back to a lady. 
the young king of Figaro Castle, ally to the Empire, and a master designer of machinery. That face. I am Edgar, king of Figaro. Surprise someone, surprise someone like me knows the king? Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, glad hand, glad hand, glad hand. Talk to you later. So, you're an Imperial soldier. No problem. Figaro and the Empire are allies. Please, relax while you're here. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Look, why are you helping me? Is it because of my abilities? No, no, no. I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. Creepy. I guess your abilities would be a distant third. What's with you anyways? Guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. Hmm. I suppose a normal girl would have found him dashing, but I'm hardly normal. And he's, he's a bit of a prick. This, this is a little bit dated here. A little bit... Little, little bit early 90s going on here with with the uh, you're pretty so I rescued you <laughs> going on Receive Phoenix down good because I think I used one in battle oops Look at the pixel art Wow okay. Anything here No, okay Well, I mean Phoenix down is Pretty worth it. I'm glad I went up here. Talk to the king. I heard the Empire is using something called magic? Gestalt has harnessed the power of magic. Who can stop him now? Okay. I guess we're going down here now? Are you in my party? No, I'm just I'm just me by myself in this party. In here. Oh, I can go in here now. What are you? Uh, is it free? I guess it's free. If it's free, yeah, sure. Get my health up. I can do some grinding by myself, but that's never good. You want a full party when you go grinding. Hello, maid ladies. Though Edgar showers his attentions on women, most are too smart to pay him any, <laughs> any attention to him. Oh, poor guy. He's a king and everything. So he's supposed to be like that. He's a bit of a Johnny Bravo. I get it. He recently tried to hit on the High Priestess. Surely he's talked to you. Okay, so that aspect of him is looked upon in a negative light. Plus one, plus one. I thought it was a little extreme. It's like a, like a Joey Tribbiani then. How did I get down here? What is down here? What is this? Where am I? I'll explore a bit more. Oh. Edgar has a twin brother. He was such a nice boy. Is there more to the story? Did I trigger a flashback? Or a meanwhile? No, this looks like a flashback. Human eyes, hold on. Mm, one minute. Brother. What's wrong with father? What's all this talk of his successor? Are you blind? Look how thin his face has become. What is it? Brother? Tears. Edgar's twin brother, who traded the throne for his own freedom. Sabin? Very Metal Gear. Ponytail mullet thing going on there. It's, eh. Sure you can indeed. His name is Sabin. Oh, he looked like his father. He looked so like his father. When he ran away, he was a sweet little child. I wonder what he's like now. Will he be a part of our party later, or will he be a villain? 
His Highness said he'd marry me when I get older. Creepy. But I guess, you know, of the times. Is there something back here? Can I get back there? Oh, matronly mother person. Sleep in this bed. Nothing here? Nothing here. Okay. Oh no, there's just a little spot where it auto-dashed. Yeah, okay. You dash upstairs. The Empire has smashed the three cities on the southern continent. Just a matter of time till they come up here. Okay. Still not entirely sure where I'm supposed to be going or what I'm supposed to be doing. Kind of just chatted with the king a little bit and he wandered off. Nope, not ready to go back to the world map yet. Yeah, no. Okay, so I have to go up and around to get to there. Wait. Oh, hey, it's you, Pussy. Thank. Great security. Stop right there. Oh, it's you. You can skip that part. We get it. It's an all important castle y place thing. Library? Scholars the world over are doing research on magic. Silly people, scholars. Aren't you a scholar? Long ago, a force called magic existed. People who used magic were called mage knights. I guess I don't need books. All that rich lore floating around. Oh, I miss food. Is it 9 o'clock yet? No? Okay. What's up? The desert castle, okay. Where'd the king go? Yeah, yeah, Figaro Desert Castle, I got you. I'm gonna climb this thing real quick. Another bed. Hey! Weapons and items manufactured here are sent to South Figaro. So South Figaro is probably a city with shops. Where I can upgrade stuff, which I love doing in an RPG. That's my bread and butter right there. That's my happy times. Another tower? Oh no, it's just this place. Okay. Yeah, now it's here. Scholars, blah, blah, blah. Where'd the king go? Also, the guy who was with me, who knows the king. Where are all of them again? Hi. The whole business of the succession was so repugnant to Savin, the king's brother, that he fled the castle forever. The succession was settled with a coin toss. Okay. Oh, hey. It's you again. How do you like my castle? Someone from the Empire to see you. Okay. I triggered something. Probably Kefka. Oh, wow, Kefka's gonna recognize me. That's definitely him. Fui, Emperor Gestalt's stupid orders. Edgar, you pinhead, why'd you have to live in the middle of nowhere? These recon jobs are the pits. Ahem, there's sand on my boots. Oh, there's sand on my boots. Yes, sir, all set, sir. <laughs> Idiots! What on earth do? Out of my way! Mm. Yeah, I'm Kafka. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh! I'm Kingy Kingman. Edgar! King Edgar! Hooray! Hi. Hi? You've been busy down south. Looking for more cities to destroy? That's for us to know. I thought we were allies. What are you doing in my domain? What brings you, Kefka? Humble servants of Emperor Gestal. 
into our lonely presence. A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she found refuge here. Hmm, this wouldn't have anything to do with this witch everyone's been whispering about, would it? Lies, she's merely stole something of minor value. Is she here? That's a tough one. You see, there's more girls here than grains of sand out there. I can't keep track of them all. I hate to be you if we found out your line. Mwah I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Figaro. Hey, I, uh, I protected you. I'd say that guy's missing a few buttons. Where's Tara? Oh, where's Tara? Oh, I'd say that guy's missing a few buttons. Where's Tara? Okay, Edgar is the king with the take her to a room. I'd love to chat with you, but the Chancellor and I must plan our strategy. Sometimes I hate being a king, if you'll excuse me. Follow me. Follow me. I'll get there. I'll get it. Hey, Shibby. Oh, am I going through this open door? Comments distracted me. I didn't see where he went. Oh, yeah. Okay, right here. Following. I kind of gave uh, King Dude a pompous voice, and this dude here. This isn't right. Supposed to be taking me to my room. How do I wind up here? Oh, am I supposed to go up? I'm already turned around and lost and confused. Um, where? No, I don't need a rest. I need to find out where dude is so I can continue with the storyline because I like turned my eyes off him for one second and he was just like mm -hmm. And there's no dash button. There's no walk fast button and I ended up down here again. Why? How? Okay. okay. Calm down, Professor. We got this. This isn't even the hard part of the game. We got this. We got this. We're good. We're golden. We're golden pony. So it was this door, I think. Yeah, it was definitely this door. Is this a thing? No. This is just a library. Could have sworn he went in here. Yeah, uh, that was a lie. The King Dude's kind of a womanizer. And I was, I had something that was literally called, like, a slave helmet on. And while I was wearing that for an indeterminate amount of time, I was working for the evil empire thingy. And some dudes got it off my head. And now the... Leader of the evil. Why does my TV keep doing that? It's so weird. The stairs at the bottom left of the one room. Can you be more specific? Than the one room? I know I saw bedrooms in here. I were in. I was. I were in them. I was in them before. I'm gonna try to go in here again. Maybe. Hi. Oh, a shop. Hi, shop. Tonic. Antidote. I don't cross for. I don't cross. Wow, that just that that gives me nothing as far as stats or anything goes. Room that I thought he went. Okay. One second. 
I just want to check all this out first. Soft. And you're... You're an items thing. Okay. So I have an items and a weapon shop. The weapons don't give me stats though, which is odd. Okay, this is the room I thought he went in. The stairs that are down there lead outside. Which is why I was confused. Unless my room is up here. I don't think so. I think this is just a tower. Oh no. No. It is a room. This is where the rooms were. Okay. Don't worry about a thing. I'll... You're Locke, right? Told me about you. Is it true you're a thief? That was confusing to read. Must be some weird Japanese thing. That's Treasure Hunter. On the surface, Edgar pretends to support the Empire. The truth is, he's collaborating with the Returners, an organization opposed to the Empire. I am his contact with that group. The old man you met in Narsh is one of us. Empire? But I... Oh. That's Terra again. Empire? But I'm a soldier of the Empire. That's not true. They were using you. Things are different now. I don't understand. What should I do? I can't tell you what to do. You don't have to decide right now. You'll soon find your way. Okay. You sleepy? But how will I know which way is right? Oh, there's the deeper meaning right there. Thank you, Shibby, for helping me find the bedroom. So we can continue on with the story. Is this, this the king? Yeah, this is the king. Okay. Kind of get his voice confused with Kepka's, but whatever. What the? See, that's what I want to do. I want to dash. I want a button so I can walk really fast. Like in all the PS1 and up Final Fantasies. Oh, things are on fire. What's happening? It's the Empire! It's Kefka! What are you doing? Oh, I gotta talk to him. Bring me the girl now. I don't know what you're talking about. Then, welcome to my barbecue. <laughs> Dick. Bring me the girl now. I don't know what you're talking about. Welcome to my barbecue. Fire, fire, ha ha ha. What an evil... Even the henchmen are evil. Man, okay. Well, it's railroading me into one direction here. Sup, guard dude? Get ready. Yes, sir! Changed your mind. I guess I had no choice. But to run to this corner and dramatically leap on a chocobo. Or maybe I do. Ha <laughs> ha! Ack, shameful that a king should flee, leaving his people behind. How utterly delightful. Jump! Yeah, screw you subjects, we're off on an adventure! Okay, dive now. Oh, we're attacking him. Me. Okay, I can't do Yahoo. Yahoo! With a Keanu Reeves voice. What's, what's going on? Oh. Oh, look at the propeller things. This whole castle's an airship thingy do. Neat. Like, uh, like the Avengers. That first Avengers movie. No one can touch the people of Figaro. Fly, castle, fly away. Fly, my pretty. Or sink into the sand. It's the opposite of what I thought was going to happen. And there you are. By yourself in the middle of the desert. Go get them. No. Oh, their metal chocobos are faster than our bird ones. All right, boss time. No, I can steal. Magic. Yes, please. Set them on fire. Tools. Oh. Oh, it's for a king, dude. Those were tools I could buy. Edgar, what's the matter? You look positively spooked. 
D -d -d Did you just see what I saw? Yeah, this kid seemed loaded for bear. He's amazing. That was magic. Oh, because I used magic. Oh, okay. Seemed loaded for bear. Is that like... They have original translations. They spelled Phoenix down with an F. Like F-E-N-I-X is how they spell Phoenix in this. I'm thinking they kept a lot of original translation errors. So this game might have a little bit of are your base or belong to us going on with it. So I'm going to do my best to shortle through those parts. Like, I guess that's, oh, that's supposed to be whispering. Like, okay, I got you. Egger, Egger is the king. Yeah. Terra, where on earth did you learn that? Sorry, I, um... Look, I don't mean to make such a big deal of this. Me either. It's just that I've never actually seen magic before. Where did you... Egger? Terra? Oh, that's luck. Egger! Terra can use magic and we can't. That's the only difference between us. The fact is, we could use her help. Thank you, Luck. Thank you, Egger. And meanwhile, the bad guys are just sitting here all Dragon Ball style, just like... Come on. Stop swooning. Auto crossbow. No, auto crossbow. I'm gonna steal from this magic robot chocobo. I got a tonic. Pretty sure that does something with MP. I'm going to hit him with my sword real quick. Now I'm going to hit him with my sword real quick. I'm going to use fire again, okay, guys? We did it! Yay! And we got two potions in the process. Bravo! I missed the other half of that text. Running in circles around Kefka. Bye, Kefka. Son of a Submariner! They'll pay for this! Submariner visits the desert. This is great! Was that a bad person? I, I'm i scared. I'm scared of bad people, even though I've killed like 30 in the past hour and 22 minutes. Tara, there's something I'd like you to... There's someone I'd like you to meet. Oh, Egger's the king. Whatever. The lock. Lock has the counter use force. We're members of the Returners. Our mentor, Bannon, would certainly like to meet you. Magic is going to be the key to winning this war. Magic? Terra has... Oh, Terra has magical powers that Esper seem to react to her. Can there be some connection? I haven't the foggiest. It just seems natural to me that I have to use this power. I'm getting the names confused a little bit, so bear with me. Egger's the king. But no human is born with the powers you seem to have. And... Let's dramatically stop. Am I not human? Is that like the big plot twist of the first hour of this game? I apologize. What should I do? I'm sure the Empire is going to come after you. If they get their hands on you, again, the world's finished. I'm getting a bit... I'm channeling Kefka with Egger, and that's not what I want to do. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. You want to understand your own powers, right? Egger, king. Then I think we need to consult with Bannon. There we go. I need more of that. More of that. Please. Okay. To the south, there's a cave that leads to south figure... No, I'm channeling Kefka again. Man... So bad at voice acting. Oh. Hello, super effects ship. Hello, tank controls. To the south, huh? Neat. Ah, super Nintendo goodness. That looks like ocean. But it's not. It's just... Okay. That's rocky rockness. So, this way? Follow the coast? Set to the south, right? Maybe I have to go to that peninsula thing way over there? Oh, 
Okay, that's where the city was. I guess there's no random encounter battles. Chocobo can't swim. I think I'm locked here. No, I can definitely go this way. Okay. So I have to go way around? No, I'm locked here too. It said go to the south, but the only way I can seem to go is to the north. Hmm. Getting some Minecraft vibes here with the different terrariums. Maybe this way? No? Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. No? No. That's a big no. Oh, no, no. Please get back on the chocobo. Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? Oh no. I think I killed us all. I definitely killed us all. Because I hit a button and hopped off my chocobo. And now we're, we're just bones. Well maybe I can hop in the desert. Maybe that's just a travel to an area. Where I can hop off and make it down... Maybe I just couldn't make it with my chocobo. You know what I mean? What was all that? I should read this a lot more. Alright, I'm just gonna head south. I'm gonna head way south. Oh, there's a cave right there. That's a cave to the south. Maybe you mentioned a cave to the south. Also, these guys are way easier than what's in the desert. So maybe not quite R.I.P. Hello? Is this where I'm supposed to be? King Edgar! Where were you headed? Through the cave, and eastwards to South Figaro. Return to the castle and tell the others we're safe. Yes sir, take care. So I did find the right thing. I was supposed to get off the chocobo and hop in this little cave. So, not super dead. Which means, perfect opportunity. No. Perfect opportunity, dot dot dot, to save. Don't worry about my low health numbers. Per uh, blue hair chicks got cure, so we're good to go. Hello, first cave. <gasps> A recovery spring. Does that mean... Beautiful. Also, I can't play with the turtle? Sad. Okay. No dash button, and I won't let me play with the turtle. Worst Final Fantasy ever. I don't care what everyone and their mother says. It's up here. I'm gonna go all Skyrim on this cave, by the way. Until my health and MP and everything starts running up. Tinkature. I feel like I knew what that word meant once a long time ago. Recovers 50 MP. Okay, it's, it's magic health. Gives me my magic back. What do we got? We got Hornet and Crawly. That's a clever name. That was definitely an one of those amateur translations. We're like, okay, they, they looked up this and like, okay, this is a Hornet. And what's that? <laughs> crawly, because it crawls. Call it a Crawly. All your base are belong to us. It's kind of like a... Uh, The reason why bats in Legend of Zelda now are called Keese, K-E-E-S-E, -E -E, is in the original Zelda, on the NES back in the day, there was a translation error, and they called the bats Keys, K-E-Y-S. There's your little Professor Fun Fact for the minute, because it just happened to pop in my head. But I think the snakes were called ropes, but I think that was just to be clever. I don't think that was a confusion with escape ropes or anything. So I don't think the original Zelda had escape ropes. I think that was just a Pokemon thing. Pokemon came way later. 
like 10 years later. Speaking of which, any hype for Pokemon on Switch? Yes, no, maybe? Possibly? I'll go with possibly. Here, it's gonna be something fun and happy. Maybe some more treasure. Knock on wood. All right, evil eyeball. I'm gonna see what I can steal from you. How are we doing on health? We're doing okay. Couldn't steal from evil eyeball. He's very super dead. Is he super dead? No. Then we're gonna steal from him. Couldn't steal from him. Man. Maybe he just doesn't have anything. Maybe they didn't think to put has nothing in there as an option. What if I steal from the Crawly? Tonic. I need to figure out what Tonics do, because I'm stealing a whole lot of them. I mean, Pokemon... I have to be in a certain mood for Pokemon. It's very, it's geared towards kids, but it's fun in the sense that, oh, level seven, I thought it was seven HP. I was freaking out for a minute. Pokemon is fun in the sense where it's, I consider it somewhere in between a phone game and like an actual game as far as gratification. It's, the, the earlier ones, the first three generations have a challenge to them, have difficulty, you need to use strategy. The the most recent ones, especially I haven't played the newest Ultra of Sun and Moon, but Sun and Moon were so unbelievably simplified and made easy and overexplained that like a ch a child could run a Nuzlocke of it, and I'll explain Nuzlocke if you don't know what that is, and get through it just fine. Like they, I don't know, it became. The newer ones are easy. The older you go, the more difficult they're going to be. But I definitely recommend playing the first three generations or, you know, their their remakes that came out. The remakes are pretty good. Like the... What do they call it? Like Fire Red and like Soul Silver. All those. Heart Gold. Omega Ruby. Those are good times. I mean, Sun and Moon was okay. It's very... Just like... Hmm. I'd say it's fun. It definitely hasn't changed much over the years. Except graphically. It's very old school RPG. No, I came from there. And I got into the fight there, and I went backwards. Okay. So. Oh, is that an antidote heal? I'm just using magic to make this fight go a little bit faster. I probably shouldn't, because I need to use magic for health here real quick. I'm just trying to skip this. Oh, 22. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Time to cure Keanu Reeves over here. And then, myself. So, I'm giving the characters their original names. It's my first time playing this Final Fantasy. And I don't want to be in a conversation with someone and forget what the characters' real names are. But, if I was naming them, I'd call them Bulma, Keanu Reeves, and Johnny Bravo. Because uh, the king up there is a bit of a womanizer and kind of not hated for it but like kind of like eye roll kind of uh there he goes again hating on another pretty lady type deal okay come here roly oh and i keep forgetting to look up what tonics do and see if they're actually worth stealing it's the only thing i've gotten from enemies so far so remind me chat to look up what a tonic does. I'm guessing either health or magic or health and magic. If it's health and magic, that'd be awesome. 
But I don't think I'd be that lucky this early in the game. Okay. You don't need to remind me, chat. I remember. Tonic. Recovers 50 HP. So it's just basic health stuff. Okay. Tonic is a potion. So that is worth stealing. Save my MP. Oh, we made it through the cave. I thought I was going an extra way. But it just wound up exiting. Oh well. Not the end of the world. Late. And we're in a town. Beautiful. The town of South Figaro. And there's an inn. Beautiful, beautiful. Am I going to get to stay for free because I'm the king? Equip relics to gain a variety of abilities. These double my walking speed. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Please, 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 pretty please. Oh, it's a Moogle. Relics give your party members a variety of abilities. For example, Sprint Shoes double your speed. True Knight lets you shield others during battle. Dragon Boots add the jump command to your battle list. Gauntlet allows you to hold the sword with both hands and use the main menu to equip up to two relics per person. Oh, not Nosgrove, Nuzlocke. Nuzlocke means you can only have one of each Pokemon, can only catch one Pokemon in every area, and whenever a Pokemon dies in battle, it stays dead. You have to delete it from your history, and you have to make it to the end of the game like that. Oh, and you also have to give... And uh, the rules vary from person to person. This is all the rules I'm familiar with. You have to give the Pokemon a unique name. So it can't just be Bulbasaur. It has to be like, you know, oh, this is named after my first dog, Fluffy. Sprint shoes. 1,500. Worth it. Worth it, worth it. Okay. How do I equip you? Equip. I guess King Dude. Terra? So confused. Oh, relic. Relic, relic, relic. Well, who's up front? He's up front. Or is move twice the speed just like move fast in battle? There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. Goggles. I don't I don't know what got select. Give tell me what these things do. Whatever. Is the end upstairs? Here we go. Hi. 80 gil per night? What? Okay. That's some expensive grinding. Also, I'm afraid. I wanted to get Monster Hunter. Well, I don't have the money for it now. Because I bought this thing. It's a Super NES Classic I'm playing this on. Hello, sleeping person. Mind if I get in bed with you all creepy-like? The Empire attacked Figaro's castle. Now we'll be able to... Now we'll all be drawn into the battle. Also, why is the king in bed with me? Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Oh, is this a balcony? A lot of people were saying that Monster Hunter is kind of like an inquired taste. A bit of a niche thing, if you will. And I was afraid it wouldn't be my thing. Because the demo didn't super resonate with me. Hold on, this is locked. It's Keanu Reeves, right? At the very least, you can give me a response. Stand back. He seems vaguely familiar. Wait a minute.
He owes allegiance to no one and will do anything for money. He comes and goes like the wind. Oh, hello, Shadow. I thought you were just another dog. I guess that's a person. That Shadow. He'd slit his mam he slit his mama's throat for a nickel. Better steer clear of him, I guess. Hi. Okay. I guess I'll talk to you later. The guy at the counter, he's kind of creepy. The Emperor's been invading one town after the next. We're not safe here. Duncan made his son, Vargas, practice a strict martial arts lifestyle. Vargas resented it. I don't know these people yet. Hmm. That's a box. That's not a treasure chest. Hello. Out of the way. I gotta get this cider over to the old man. That's my job. Now scram. Okay. You know I'm your king, right? Okay. So I'll, I'll, behead you, I'll behead you later. It's cool. It's all good. Bye, creepy ninja dude. What am I supposed to be doing here? I'm guessing... No, oh, okay. I went in the inn and exited the cafe. Ooh. Chocobo stable. Hello. Oh, it makes a noise. Yeah, I like chocobos. They're my favorite. Hey, Cam, how's it going, buddy? Welcome to Final Fantasy III. Known by most as Final Fantasy VI. Everywhere else except the United States. Weapon shop. There we go. There we go. Dirk. Down, down. Equipped. Little knife. Equipped. Up. Full blade. Up. Equipped. That's up for him, but it's not equipable. I understand now. Okay. Oh, and those are just his special things. Okay, so two of these. And one of those. Two of those. I'm guessing one of these because he can't equip it. Okay. Now we're gonna equip. Yes. Now let's test this. Lock. Can't equip. Okay, you can't equip the big one. You can only equip the mythical blade. Also, he can't dual wield. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so no, no shields or anything there. Unless you're selling that stuff. Okay, he can't equip that either. Just... Oh. Kung Fu suit. Cotton robe. They can all get a plumbed hat. Oh, because so that's all head. Okay. So, three plumbed hats. One cotton robe, one kung fu suit. Okay. I know everyone showed up. Shinny? Oh, Shibby. Yeah, you guys all talk to each other real quick while I deal with all the equippy stuff, and I'll get back to the story soon, I promise. It's just if I don't do this now, I might get sucked into the middle of something and regret it later. No, just a plumb hat for you, I guess. Okay. And the Kung Fu suit. Terra gets the plumbed hat and the cotton robe. Okay. Cool. And now I can find the story.
Yeah, you do gotta get the SNES Mini so you can play Metroid. So what happened was... I got a text last Saturday from this uh, gaming store in O'Galley, Florida called Ready Set Game that they had a copy of uh, Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem for the GameCube. And I'm like, that'd be a perfect, like, obscure little fun game for my spooky Saturdays. But I had to wait till Friday to get my paycheck from the flower shop where did the temp job thingy. And I got my paycheck today. I stopped by in there. Where am I supposed to be going? Who am I supposed to be talking to? None of you seem like critical plot people. Maybe you with the book. Hi. I'm off for it. Get lost. You might be a critical person. Let's see what he has to say first before I finish my story. I don't like strangers. Bring me some cider and maybe I'll talk to you. Okay. Is that a side quest or do I need that to continue on the story? I'm so confused. Also, quit popping up there. But anyways, so I get my paycheck and I finally make my way up there. And the dude's like, oh yeah, we sold out of that like the next day. So we start talking and he has one of these things, the SNES Minis, Duncan's house. Sitting in the background. And I'm like, hey, you got any of those? And he's like, no. But the Walmart next door did a few days ago. So I went by Walmart and they had one left. So I picked it up and I'm playing this for you guys. And I think... Well, I found the save point. That's progress, right? That's progress. Anyone play this before? Anyone know where I'm supposed to be going? I just got to the city for some reason. Hi. My husband, Duncan, is a world-famous martial artist. He's taken his disciples to Mount Colt for meditation and training. So I'm supposed to find a mountain. If we went to match tech armor, we're gonna go down fighting. Good for you. Good for you. So I'm gonna to go to the cafe and see if they have cider that I can give to that cranky dude. And maybe he'll give me something. Duncan soon. Okay, so Duncan went to the mountains. I can't talk to this dude until Ninja Guy leaves. Okay. So I can't do that quest yet. I'm guessing, guessing. Hi, little girl. Are kids allowed in here? What do you think? Oh, all right. I don't, I don't know what I said to her. I'm guessing sure, cause she's still in there. All right. Mountains, huh? Oh, hello. The ship isn't going anywhere. The ship isn't going anywhere. Neato. I didn't know I asked about the ship, but okay. So the only hint I got as to what I'm supposed to be doing is that some dude named Duncan is a martial artist and he's up in the mountains. So, so I'm not in like a bunch of random battles. I'm gonna see, yep. Press the A button or up on the control pad to go forward. Steer with the control pad. Press the B button to dismount. Be careful once you get off, the bird's gone forever. So I'm going to find some mountains and get off near the mountains. Right there. Neat. Let's save everyone a bit of time. What's this thing? Weird plant thing, what are you? Hello? Weird mountain cottage? Hmm, what's that smell? And this, his favorite tea. Tonic. I guess that smell was tonic? Either that or his favorite tea. These dishes, they were his favorite. These dishes are still his favorite. So yeah, we get it. Duncan was here. Let's sleep in his bed. 
Cool. Well, I guess, you know, if I didn't take a chocobo here. Sabin. Oh, Sabin. Not the Kung Fu guy. His twin brother. Or a little brother. Little brother? Maybe twin brother. It's kind of weird. Older brother, maybe. His brother. Let's go with his brother for right now. Oh, hi. What the? You know this guy? Of course. He left a couple of days ago after he heard Master Duncan was slain. Master Duncan was slain? That's not good. He headed into the mountains. I heard Duncan's son, Vargas, is missing as well. I have a bad feeling about this. So the mountains are up here, huh? That was Saban, actually. Two A's. Yeah, there you go. No, Sabin is just uh, the king's cranky brother, uh, cranky emo brother, who's just like, oh, I can't handle being king, so I'm going to leave and do my own thing. blah -zy blah blah Okay, so, went up to the mountains. Is this the cave I came from? This is the cave I came from. Different from the mountains. Okay. I guess we'll deal with the, uh, the street shark ripoff here. Rhino Tor! Great name, guys. 10 out of 10, IGN. Rhino Tor. Let's see what he's got for me. Can I steal? Couldn't steal. Couldn't steal from the street shark. Killed by Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo gained the level. There's the village. What's all this talk about mountains? I will figure this game out. Oh, there we go. That looks like mountains. There wasn't a little dot. I've been aiming for the little dots. I think that's my mistake. Can I steal from you? You specifically? Mithril Claw. That sounds like it. Who uses claws? That might be useful later. That's that's a rare find right there. I'm assuming. All right. What time is it? Actually, I'm gonna hop out real quick because this looks like the right-ish place, and I'm gonna save. Yes, please. Alright. Mount Colts. Yeah, this sounds right. Am I equipped enough for this place? We'll find out. <laughs> Brawler. Okay. Oh, Terror is like deadish. Good thing I saved when I did. Come on, Terra. Don't die. Don't get hit. Because I haven't been paying attention to your health at all, because I'm a jerk. He just did 30 damage. Maybe I'm not ready for this place. That's... that's quite a lot. Luckily, he doesn't have a lot of health. So it's kind of... it's give and take there. Is this one also going to give me a magic spring of heal everything in the beginning? No, it's not. Straight... oh. Hello, shadowy figure. That's nothing. The art style makes navigating this a little confusing. But we'll get there. We'll get through this. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely healing way more often. Cure Johnny Bravo. If anyone's health gets below 50, I definitely need to heal them, like, immediately. Lock isn't too far from. Yeah, they're doing like 20 damage per hit. That's ridiculous. 
I equipped, I gave them all like brand new stuff too from that city, just like there. 70. Close, die. Die in a fire. Thank you. I'm getting a lot of money though. So the hotels definitely won't be an issue. But the inns. I say hotels. Hotels, inns, whatever. I miss the treasure chest, but whatevs. Birds. Serpis? Serpius? Kerpius. Kerpius. Hello, Kerpius. How much damage are you gonna do to me? How afraid of you should I be? Not very afraid, because you haven't attacked yet. You're all very slow. 22, so about the same. About the same amount of scary. What do you think about the 90 speakers on the side? That's a Super NES classic thing. I kind of I kind of love it personally. I was going to do my own personal border thing, but I think this is much better. Did I just come from here? I did. And he went over the edge there and I got into another random battle. The three birds again. Oh man, I just made zero progress in 5 minutes. That's possibly the most annoying thing ever. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay. Remember my rules, self. Below 50, heal him. Ba 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 cure. Ba 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 ba. See, here goes our little mouse just like doing that move. Kind of like how mine does, but like a little cuter because it's pixelated. Oh! There's a side to turn around here. I can't tell if this is progress or not. Tense! <laughs> I like him the speaker things. Yeah, me too. Tara's gonna need some healing soon. She's gonna get whacked any time now. It's gonna be half dead because of it. So these super muscly, oddly tan dudes just hanging out in caves all day, I guess. Oh, that was her too. Oh well. Next battle pops up, I'll I'll have her do a heal. Have her give me a healing. More than a healing. Oh, that's new. Trillum, what is that? Like a plant thing? Oh, she's dead. Oh, she's super dead. That's super not good. Wait, wait, wait. Check this out. Look how they spell Phoenix. I'm not going to use it now, though, because she might get hit and instant KO'd, and we don't want that. I'm going to use that outside of this battle. They killed my white mage, though. That's not cool. Okay. Phoenix down. And we'll use... I got seven of these tonic things. So might as well use some, right? It's Terra... Yeah, Terra's winking at me, kind of. It's like, either that or just a little, like, mm, face going on. Okay. Yes, this is new... Question mark? Yes, this looks different. Okay, good. Progress. Hooray. It's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. I'm guessing this game didn't age amazingly well, and it's just pleasantly remembered as a classic. By the way, the current big raid in Final Fantasy XIV is based off of this game. It's all like just a bunch of references to this Final Fantasy, which is why I'm playing it to try to better understand some of them. So, if you ever see me, if you watch this, and then later on you ever see me streaming Final Fantasy XIV, I'll probably be doing the raid thing that's referencing this game, so you might want to check that out too if you're interested and or curious. And I don't think I'm going to use a 10, I think I'm just going to save. I 
if I die, I got the save point right there. So I'm supposed to go out here. Terry's a cutie? Yeah, she is. But, I mean, the Final Fantasy heroine has always been good at being a cutie. Okay, magic. I think she's poisoned. So I'm going to see if that helps with that at all. And if it does... Yeah, okay, that was poison. An antidote cures poison. Go figure, right? Learning the finer points of the game. Chasing the shadowy figure. We're making our way. We're doing it. The grass looks beautiful for Super NES. Lots of detail there. That's nice. Oh! Side attack. I'm like, why? Did I miss something? Why are we fighting Terra? Then, okay. Because I didn't want to fight Terra. It's like you said, Terra's a cutie. Check out them games. She's got some nice legs. Oh, like... Eight pixels of them. Mm. Oh. Oh, he's poisoned. Oh, it's like the Pokemon poison where it stays there. And his health just randomly goes down and down and down. So I got an item to heal that so I can save for MP. Yes, I have one antidote. And I will use it to save Terra's MP. More random battle goodness. And this stream was just going to be 7 to 9, but I'm in the middle of like a dungeon thing. Plus I might make this 7 to 10. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's nice I can to stop by though in the middle of his stream. Unless his ended quickly. I'm gonna have to watch that one later. Did you watch it, Shibby? His little bird dating sim game? Oh, oh, health under 50. Health under 50. Magic cure. Egg. Okay. It's active time battle. I'm changing the subject a million times on you. It's active time battle, but it's going really slow so it gives you time to think of what just happened to Locke. God it's like babysitting. I turn my eyes and talk for one second and they're all almost dead. I should probably fight 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 the weaker guys first. Take them out take out the weaker guys. This holy mother Joseph had everyone's dying on me. Stone Can I even... I don't think I even have a cure for that. Okay, so I can't... Okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay. I think... I think I have... I do. I have a soft. Okay. Soft goes to Egger. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, he's dead. We're... I might cut the stream off early. Good thing I just saved. Okay, pig's down. Terra has nine health. Terra's dead. How far away was that save point? I think I'm out of Phoenix Towns. Oh, man. I have one Phoenix Town. How far away is that save point? Who do I give the Phoenix Town to? I guess the White Mage. Yeah. That's my only option, right? If she can heal people, it'd be dumb to give it to anyone else. I don't think she has... Any magic to bring anyone back from the dead yet? No. Yeah. So I have to wait till I get to another save point and hope that the the tent will revive him. 
So, okay, Terra's alive. Edgar's dead for a while, though. There's four people. I think I'm gonna wipe and call this a stream. Unless you want to watch me do some grinding for an hour. Because I don't think I'm ready to fight these guys yet. I think I need to be a bit stronger. Level up a bit. Because I haven't done any level grinding at all. And this is a Super NES game. You know, if you... Yeah. Yeah, I'm supposed to be, like, grinding for a few hours here. This is definitely a lesson learned. Annihilated. Okay. Yeah, you are. Let's see the sad defeat. Okay. So, two level tens and a level eight. And I got the save point here. I got easy enemies to the left, hard enemies to the right. It's nine o'clock. I'm taking that as a cue as a perfect time to end this stream. So thank you, Shibby specifically, for watching. Uh, tomorrow at probably nine-ish, running till midnight-ish. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll be doing Spooky Saturdays, where I'm ninety percent sure I'm going to be playing the game Soma, which isn't so much scary as it is like a psychological walking simulator that has scary moments but it's more to me it's more just an intriguing mystery to be solved set around a horror theme and i don't want you can't explain too much without giving anything away that makes it special but tomorrow nine o'clock ish my twitch thing go check it out if you want if not whatevs but I'm going to call this officially ended and going to do a little five minute long bonus stream thingy for Shibby. That's saved and good to go. I'm going to go here and do a little bonus. Was it Metroid or Castlevania you said you wanted to play? can't remember. Metroid. You said you wanted to play Metroid. Okay. So I'm going to show you the first like five minutes of Metroid. Because Metroid's a little difficult for me. Especially with this old school controller thingy going on. Now, keep in mind, imagine it's the early 90s, and you're like under 10 years old. And it's like, you know... The last, the last Metroid is in, is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. You know, you got your blanket on, the soft glow of the TV, it's a dark room, and you're all just like... Whoa, when that's the first thing you see. I first battled the Metroids on planet Zebes. Zebus? Zebes? It was three that I foiled the plans of the space pirate leader Mother Brain to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. All your base are belong to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the ending of the one for NES right here with Super NES graphics. That was another big thing. I next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR388, completely eradicating them except for a larva, which after hatching followed me like a confused child and that was the Game Boy one which recently had a remake for the 3DS you made a friend I personally delivered it to the galactic research station at Cirrus so scientists could study its energy product producing qualities Skip this. I can't skip it. I'm trying to skip it because I don't want to ruin it all for you. So, whatever. First five minutes of the game is plot. Plot, plot, plotty, plot, plot, plot. 
Scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization. Satisfied that all well, all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. But, I had hardly gone before the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress call signal. I made up the word call. I thought I read it. I did not. My brain lied to me. Station was under attack. Look at that. Whoa. Don't need no super effects ship to make that look awesome. Space colony. Okay. Jump. Jump. Okay. So that's jump. That's blaster master. You see the map? You see where the Metroid and Metroidvania comes from? And it's the whole, like, this is just like a prologue thing. We're going to go, like, 12 feet and then do, like, an emergency escape thing. But, basically, it's a big maze world and lots of stuff's unlocked. And you have to find a specific way to go to get power-ups so you can go to new different areas. And you beat the bad guy and you avoid dying. Hey. Oh. Oh. Hi. Ow. Ow. Owies. Owies, owies. Oh, I'm so bad at Metroid games. Did I mention I'm bad at Metroid games? Self-destruct sequence activated. Okay, and now we got a minute to escape. Oh no! Will we do it in time? You knew this game was intense because you could die right at the very beginning. This was like, you know, Dark Souls and Bloodborne before there was Dark Souls and Bloodborne. This game wasn't messing around. Especially when you're eight years old and you're like, Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna die! Even though we'll probably do this with like a million seconds to spare. Ow, rocks. Ow, rocks. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Stop booping me. Steam. Yeah, see? There we go. Yeah, 22 seconds to spare. Space station blued up. Gong kabloopy. I'm a little excited because someone's like actively watching me play, and that's exciting to me. It doesn't happen a lot for me, so thank you, Shivy. Thank you. Now that's all said and done. On to this random planet for reasons. Oh, this is what I remember. Okay. This was iconic. First time you actually got to, like, interact with the ship. And look at that. Yeah. And I think, if I remember correctly, yeah. You go here, and you just, like, you get all your energy and stuff back. And save. There's other save points throughout the game. But this is like, you know, a home base thing. Okay. Well, let's get to it. Yeah. Classic. Classic, classic. I just want to get to like an enemy or something so you can... I don't have the ball yet. See? 
You're like, oh, how do I get down there? If only there was a way. And eventually, spoiler alert, you're gonna find- it's classic Metroid. You're gonna find a thing that turns you into a ball. And it's gonna be your first, like, journey into open exploration. You can't get through the red door. So, like, you kind of, like, yeah, turn into a cat. Yeah, you get it, you understand, see? So, at the very beginning, you get kind of railroaded. But as the game goes on, it opens up into a very complex maze. And you need to, like, use your map. Start button? Start button brings up the map. Okay, yeah. To figure that out, go jumping down. Okay. Been a long time without seeing an enemy here. It's like it's the very beginning of the game or something, and I want me to get used to platforming. That's gonna be super annoying to get back up. They're foreshadowing enemies with all the bugs crawling around. Little, little buggy crawlers. Oh, and what's all this damage here? What could have done this? Such mystery. Such intrigue! I should have played this instead of Final Fantasy. Down? Down button. Alright. Enemies! Why are you so barren? Why is it? Maybe I glitched the game. There's nothing here. Nothing. I don't remember the game being this barren. It's funny. Memory is funny sometimes. Oh yeah, and there it is. Morphine ball. And that's your turn into a cat. And that's the basic premise. Oh, oh, hello. Not smart enough to figure this out. I know there's a way to drop bombs when I'm a ball, but maybe I need to unlock it. I can't even seem to jump when I'm a ball right now. Maybe you need to see me as a ball. I'm very confused. See? There you go. First puzzle to figure out. Because I can't because I'm a big dumb dummy. Oh. Oh. Duh. Destroy it with that. Uh, okay. And see? There it is. Metroid. But it's time for me to go get food. Uh, that was Final Fantasy 3 and then like five minutes of Metroid. This little box is amazing. Look at all this cool stuff that's going on it. Link to the Past, Jersey's Island, Country 2, Donkey Kong Country. Ooh, that could be fun. Earthbound is definitely amazing. A must play. Final Fantasy 3. I just did two hours of that for you guys. F Zero, two Kirby games, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana. Ah, so much goodness. Star Fox 2. I'll have to do that for like a bonus stream sometime. But I'm off. Probably gonna do a Super Mario RPG 2 as well. There's only one Super Mario RPG. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe there. If you're watching this on Twitch uh, and you haven't followed me, go ahead and give me a follow. Uh, I do stuff mostly weekend, evening, type-ish deals. Sometimes I'll do like a bonus stream like weekday morning whenever the house is empty. And I can be loud and animated and happy and all that stuff. But as for now, I miss food. I'm going to fix that. Maybe Taco Bell. Then maybe watch one of my buddies stream and check out the people who I'm following, if that's a thing you can do on Twitch. I'm not sure if it is. I'm new to Twitch. But anyways, I've been rambling, so bye. Bye.